What's up guys, welcome to the channel. Today we are going to create a vacuum chamber and this is one of the few projects I must do before we start to doing something really exciting. So stay tuned and let's begin. Okay, so a vacuum chamber is a hermetic container which allows you to pump the air out to create a vacuum. It can be anything, a bucket, a pot, a tank, but it must have a lid. A pneumatic installation is very simple. We need pipe cross, a vacuum gauge, two valves, vacuum pump and the tube. It's really simple and easy to make. And to be honest, I don't see any reason to spend something around 100 bucks or more to buy one. So, we've got an expansion vessel. You can buy it on a junkyard for probably less than 3 bucks and it is perfect because it is made from 1 mm thick steel and it doesn't have edges. It's really important because the edges tend to accumulate the stress and pressure when you are creating a vacuum inside. The pneumatic installation is very simple so we've got pipe cross, two valves in and out vacuum gauge, tube, uh, hose clamp and slang pillar. Okay, and now the lid. I will use 15 mm thick ac acrylic glass. It is transparent so um, it is possible to monitor what is happening inside but you don't have to make it from plastic. You can use steel, doesn't matter at all. The only problem with this glass is that it has holes here, here and here. So I must find a way to curve out the lid while bypassing these holes. Unfortunately the blade guide on my jigsaw is damaged, so I must fix it before we start to cut. The issue with my device is the small wheel that should be keeping the blade perpendicular to the material being cut and if it loose shape like mine did the blade goes backwards during the cutting and the blade teeth slide on the material instead of cutting it. So we must replace it and after that we will be able to cut the lid. So, the vacuum chamber is ready and now the vacuum pump. This is, I would say, an experiment, 
and I have no idea if it's gonna work, but experiments are fun. Don't you agree? So what you can see is an air compressor, and I will turn it into a vacuum pump. Basically, it is now working like two-stroke motor. When the piston goes down, the valve on the piston opens, the valve on a small chamber above the cylinder closes, and the air goes to the cylinder. When the piston goes up, the valve on a piston closes, air inside the cylinder is pushed by the piston, goes through the valve to the chamber and straight to the installation. Currently, the air compressor turns on when the pressure inside the installation decreases. When I push the trigger, the motor turns on and starts pumping the air. The pressure sensor detects the moment when the pressure is high and turn off the motor by breaking the electrical circuit. When the pressure goes down, pressure sensor closes the electrical circuit and turns on the motor. So, there are two tasks. First, I must remove the pressure sensor from the installation. Second, the airflow must be reversed. So guys, vacuum chamber and vacuum pump is working. Vacuum pump is not powerful enough, so I will replace it and um, probably buy a real one. But it is working fine. And if you enjoyed this video, please give a thumbs up, subscribe my channel if you like, and have a good day. Till next week. Bye.